Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. All right, CJ Ross. What is wrong with this lady? Um, first of all, she she's coming back to boxing, or she's back in boxing, whatever. Uh, we know her. She's the judge that uh, gave a lopsided scorecard. Uh, well, not lopsided. She scored 115-113 for Bradley in the first Pacquiao-Bradley fight, which I think it was something like 90 or some percent of uh, press row had Pacquiao winning, if not higher than 90 percent. Uh, it was clearly a Pacquiao win, and for whatever reasons, she uh, judged it for Bradley, okay? But the the bigger bigger to me is that she thought Canelo Mayweather was a draw, that was like the most one-sided fight of the whole year. You know, it's still to this, of a mega fight proportions, it might be like the most one-sided fight uh, since that fight, you know. Uh, there was no way in hell you could even score that. Uh, even the judge who had it, you know, eight rounds to four uh, didn't make much sense. You know, because Canelo didn't even win four rounds. You know, I can understand they were trying to give him something, but, you know, four rounds is a stretch, okay? She gives six rounds apiece. Like, she either doesn't know how to judge uh, and shouldn't be in boxing, or she's corrupt and shouldn't be in boxing. Like, there's no other way about it. She just, she should never judge a professional fight ever ever again um <clears throat> a boxing scene i guess did an interview or uh edward tchaikovsky did an interview with her or whatever and had some um quotes from her uh she says uh, i was asked why my scorecard could have gone to a draw but it just has to be one fighter ending up with six rounds so in other words she's saying What's the big deal about me having it a draw? Uh, the only a draw is just one fighter having six rounds. Like no shit, CJ. Uh, and what six could you possibly have scored for Canelo? Uh, even watching it live that night. And she also <laughs> contends that still to this day she thinks that that's a draw. Um, she could have easily just went back and been like, you know, I watched the tapes over. I, I did make a mistake. Now I score it 8-4 to four or something like that. But no, she still holds firm on that fight is a draw. You know, um, then she goes on to say, when you think of it in terms of six rounds and the nearest other judge had it 8-4 uh, to four on uh, their card, which is still a, a stretch, um, we weren't all that far off, she says. You know, well, yeah, like, kind of you are, because you still gave him an extra two rounds, which, <clears throat> like, if you want to try and give him four rounds, whatever, but how do you end up finding another two to give to him? I mean, the fight was a shot out, you know. Uh, I haven't watched it recently, but I don't know if I even gave Canelo two rounds in that fight, you know, um, I didn't get to watch that fight live, for other reasons, but I've rewatched it, you know, or watched, you know, watched a replay a while later, but, um, and I, I didn't score it when I watched it, because I already, it was, you know, it wasn't live, I already knew what had happened, and so I just wanted to watch it for myself, uh, if I remember, I think at it, it the most two rounds, you know, and I, I don't even think I would have given him that. You know, I haven't watched it in a while, but even four rounds, I do know four rounds is a stretch. Uh, so a draw is just insane, insane. That, that's clear incompetence or corruption. Either way, she has no business being uh, responsible for the outcome of a professional prize fight. <laughs> you know, um... She says, uh, it was an even fight. A lot of those rounds were even. Uh, they just swung back and forth. If that's what she thinks about boxing, that these are just fighters just swinging back and forth, so that makes it an even round or an even fight because both guys, both, both guys threw some punches, um, then clearly 
that's incompetence. I think it's a little more than incompetence, but whatever. You know, uh, but if she's just saying it was, it was an even fight because two guys threw punches, well, what about Pac Bradley? Those two guys were throwing punches, and that was, you know, uh, uh, it wasn't a one-sided uh, affair for either fighter. You know, it was a, a definite Pacquiao win, but it wasn't, like, as one-sided. Uh, Pacquiao didn't dominate Bradley in the first fight the way Mayweather dominated Canelo, and if she can call that a draw, how does she you know, vote for Bradley, um, in the, their first fight, so I don't, under, I don't understand the logic between, uh, behind her scoring, I would like for her to actually, like, sit down with, uh, you know, the, the ABC, the head of all the <coughs> state commissions, and actually score, rescore the fight, and explaining why she scored each round for who she scored it for, and how she ended up with that, um, card because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that they would immediately strip her license away right then and there because I don't think she knows shit about boxing um cliche saying but I think she fits into that board number one I really don't I think she is incompetent but I do think there's also corruption in it uh as well um for her to I mean come on it, even if she was paid off even if she was, I'm not saying she was, even if she was, you still can't score that fight or draw. You know, you got to give the win to Mayweather and then go to whoever paid you off and just be like, look, <laughs> there was no way uh, I could even score that fight for Canelo. You know, so give me a break, you know. I'll get you next time type of thing, you know, which is bullshit, but come on, man. She went way too far. Um... And to do it in, you know, the two biggest fights um, of that year, you know, a Pacquiao fight and a Mayweather fight, and to try to screw over Pacquiao and a Mayweather, uh, you know, there, there's something else there. You know, I don't think she should ever be judging again, you know, um, but apparently she's going to be. You know, it says, uh, you know, she walked away from the sport af after taking a uh, online lashing from fans who were outraged over uh, two of her scorecards, the Pac Bradley fight and the Canelo Mayweather fight. Um, but now, no, she let the she let the smoke clear. She let the heat blow over, and uh, now I guess she's gonna be coming back to boxing. You know, uh. I sure hope she doesn't. You know, I don't know if she's yet if she has judged a fight uh yet. Like um I don't think she has, but I'm not quite sure. Uh I don't think she would be the type to take I hope she's not dumb enough to do something silly in 2015 again and uh just put the heat right back on her because she's liable to get indicted by a federal grand jury. Uh, if she does it again, <clears throat> to the extent of the Canelo Mayweather fight, because personally I think that was a a much bigger controversy than even scoring uh, the Pac Bradley fight, because you do you could say you know Pac Pac was only fighting you know thirty seconds to a minute of each round, even though he was winning and won the fight. Uh, and Bradley wasn't really landing anything significant, and Pacquiao was, well, more significant punches. I mean, it, that, that was a clear Pacquiao win. Uh, if she wanted to make either of them them fights a draw, the, the Pac-Bradley fight, she should have made the draw. And then, you know, just barely gave Mayweather a win. Uh, she don't even know how to, like, um, give a bullshit card while making it believable. That just shows our incompetence there. You know, this lady seriously needs to get the hell away from the sport. Um, I, I hope they don't let her come back. Uh, I haven't dug much into it. Uh, if she is coming back from what I gather, though, she is. Now, will... I don't think they'll let this judge, I don't think any fighter is going to let this judge uh, be a judge in their fight. Now, I know the commission picks the judges and all, but promoters get to pick a bunch of judges, and then the commission picks from the pool. Um, 
I'm pretty sure no promoters would even put her in their pool if it's a big fight. Or even any fight, honestly. Unless they're looking to use her um, incompetence or, you know, whatever. Uh, I just had to address this situation, you know. Because to hear her still say that Canelo Mayweather was a draw is just wild. You know, it's just wild. It's two years later, basically. She could have just came out and said, you know, I made a mistake. Uh, in both fights, I made a mistake. You know, I've had time to rewatch them a few times each, she could have even said, and, you know, I see where I made my errors. Um, but she don't even do that. She still contends that her scorecards were the way the fight was. You know, so that alone means she should never fight or never score uh, a fight again. Alright, uh, most of you don't even have to let me know how you feel about CJ Ross, because I know the, pretty much the whole boxing community feels she should be uh, banned from the sport. But, if you have anything to say on this, go ahead. I just wanted to talk about it. Alright, Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Uh, stay safe till next time. Peace.